Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez, and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be discussing weld symbols and where to find them. Now, right before me, I have two 3x5 steel plates that I'm going to weld together. In order for me to be accessed and be able to actually put a weld bead on this, I'm going to have to activate the Weldments tab. That's found inside the Command Manager here. All I have to do is right click on the tab, select right here where it says Weldments, and I'll have access to Weldment tools. Now I'm going to click here where it says weld bead. There's two ways to lay down a weld bead. I can either select the face here, select the bottom face, and right in between them I'll have a weld like this. Another way to do it is best by clicking on weld plaf and selecting an edge. Once the edge has been selected, the weld bead will be laid along that edge, and I can also change the size of it. Let's say I put 1 8, it'll change the weld bead size to 1 8 of an inch, or I can change it to a quarter of an inch. I can also change its starting location, say I move it up an inch from where it's currently starting and I can change the actual length of the weld to 3 inches. For the purposes of this vlog, I'll put it back at its starting point and go back to a length of 5. And if you need to put down intermittent welds, it also has that option inside the property manager there, so I'll click here to activate it. You can use a gap and weld length or if you use pitch and weld length. All that means is that as it's being cut intermittently, it's going to measure from the center of each of those welds. Say we have a weld length of an inch, and the pitch is going to be 0.3. I change it to half an inch, and it automatically adjusts for me. So for now, I'm just going to deactivate this because I don't need it. Now that I have the weld be how I want it to be, I can click here where it says define weld symbol. From here is I can start modifying how that weld symbol is going to look. First off, the arrow right. If I go below the arrow here, you'll notice that I have options to add weld symbols. Here to the left, I have the actual size of the weld bead. Click on weld symbol, it shows me all the different ones. I can use a U groove. I can also use a bevel, a V groove, a square groove. I currently have it under fillet. Now if it's under, it's gonna, the weld bead, if the weld symbol is under the arrow, it's gonna point in the location that the arrow actually points to. If the weld symbol is above the arrow, then that means it's going to be the opposite side of where the arrow actually points to. So I'm also going to add a contour symbol, so I can just click on this drop down arrow here, make it convex. If I need to add a finishing method, I can click on this drop down arrow here, select grinding, and again if I want to add a root opening, I can. If I want to add a groove angle, I can do that as well. Right here on the side, I can tell, you know, to make it a weld all around or depending if you want to put the field set on the bottom or on the top I like to put mine on the top there and any time that I make another weld symbol while in a part environment I can save the style if I want to so I can save it here let's check oh look there's some that I've saved already under basics so if I click OK it'll automatically populate all the areas here with the settings that I want the next step is just to click OK and accept it once I do that, notice on the graphics area, I now have the weld symbol there. So I'm just going to click OK to accept it. So now I have my weld bead. It's been laid where I want it to be. And I also have now my weld symbol here. Now that I've done this, it's time to go from a part to a drawing. To do that, I just click on the drop down arrow next to the blank sheet of paper and make drawing from part or assembly. I'm going to select the C size ANSI inch template. So I'm going to click it on there. Now what I'm going to do next is just drop down and add my views. I don't have to create them. SOLIDWORKS already did that for me. So I'll start off by grabbing a front view here inside the task pane. I'm inside the paint, sorry, the view palette tab. So I'm going to click here where it says front, drag it, and drop it into the drawing. Since I have auto start projected view on, I can just go up and I'll get a top view. Go to the right and I'll get a right view. And if I go at an angle, it'll give me an isometric view. I'm just going to drop this right here. I'm going to change the display style for my isometric view. I want to be able to see the actual bead. So I'm just going to click OK. Now the next step is that I want to add my dimensions and also the weld symbol. To automate the process, I'm going to select here where it says model item. So I'll click on it here. I have to make sure I'm going to model the entire, here the entire, all the part, correct. I have it correctly marked for drawing, 
And now when it comes to annotations, whatever symbols I want to appear that I'm bringing in from the actual part, I have to have already selected. Currently I have the world symbol on, so if I click off, it'll go back to being a grayish. Click on it, it becomes dark gray signaling it's been active. Go ahead and click OK and it should automatically populate for me. So there I have my weld symbol. I can always move it. So I can just hold down shift, move it to this view here. And just attach it to where I want it to be. So I can put it right here, for example, or like this. And I can always move it along the line there. And I can also adjust these dimensions. Now, let's say I want to make a weld symbol directly inside the drawing and not have it be imported from the part. So if I click here and I want to make sure I'm already actually in the annotation tab, so I don't have to click again, I'm going to click here where it says weld symbol. Just like I did before inside the part, I can do the exact same thing, but now in a drawing. And let's say just for fun, I click here on the top part of the arrow, signify I'm going in the opposite direction. I add, you know, a fillet, field side again, and it shows me a copy. And I'm going to click it here. And again, even though I clicked it right on that edge because the symbol is on the top part of the arrow, that allows the welder to know, hey, it's going to be placed on the opposite side. Again, I can click on the weld symbol and have all the other options. So here I have a flare available, for example, that I can use. I have the U groove again. I, I have all these options once again that I could use as well as if I'm the finishing method, the contour, and if I want to make it a field site all around. And if you're inside a drawing environment and you try to bring a style in, remember you have to save a, a different style or the same style that you did, but now you have to redo it inside the actual property manager here for the weld symbol to be able to do that again. So now I'm just going to click OK. And now I've added weld symbols. The welder will know what exactly it is that I want. So if we come to the end of this vlog, and again, we've seen how easy it is to add our weld symbols, whether it's inside an actual part environment, like I did before, or that I can do it inside a drawing like this. Thanks again. If you have any comments or any other tips and tricks that you have for weld symbols, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. Thank you again.